Hey family, welcome back to Transcend with Ebony. It's Ebony here dropping by with another quick message. I hope everyone is doing well today. I just have a quick message for someone. Now that everything is falling together in your life, now that everything is falling into place for you, now they're trying to spin the block. Mm -mm, the devil is a lie. Don't do it. Because that individual, the way that they mistreated you, abused you, used you, manipulated you, however it may have panned out in your situation, particularly in particular, however it worked or, or did not work clearly in your specific situation. Remember all of that when this person tried to come spin the block, because at the end of the day, every time God is getting ready to bless you, you better believe the enemy going to try to bring them familiar spirits back around. The enemy is going to try and um, throw temptation out there at you to see if you're going to bite just so you can forfeit your blessing, just so you could delay your blessing, just so you can um, hinder yourself. He's always going to try and throw a diversion out there. Once you are fully focused on God and where he's taking you and the things that he's been having you working on and doing and everything is going good in your life, everything is flowing smoothly and you like, oh my God, I finally have such peace. You know, everything is just flowing. Everything is falling into place. Everything is working in order. Like I've been praying for my life to unfold this way. And now these things are, are happening suddenly. You know, suddenly I just got that dream job. Suddenly my business is taking off. Suddenly I'm in the best health possible. Suddenly, you know, um, you slimming down, you losing weight, you working on your health, beauty, fitness, your wellness. And all of a sudden, they want to try to come spin the block. No, because if they wasn't there with you by your side where you needed them the most, as you were trying to come out of the pit that you were in and climbing and climbing and striving to get to the palace, when you at the palace, they better not come knocking at the front door. The devil is a lie and the gates of hell should never prevail against the child of God. So at the end of the day, they trying to they trying to come spin the block because everything's unfolding the way it's supposed to. And a lot of times, like I say, they'll try to come right where you're in the middle of your breakthrough. You have started to see the blessings come in unfold, but you're not where you know you're going yet. You haven't made it to the full the destination yet, but you know what? It's right around the corner. You can see it. You can see it right over the horizon. You're like, okay, I, I know where I'm going. I'm almost there. I, I'm, it's, it's happening. It's unfolding. It's, everything is happening for me. Everything is happening for me. That's when that person going to hit you up. Hey, how you been? Hey, what's up, big head? What you doing? Hey, what's up, little mama? Hey, honey. Excuse me? Come again? And we haven't talked in how long? Can I come see you? What you got going on? Trying to come in there and slide their way in and trying to come finesse you and trying to trying to weasel their way back in your life because they smell that blessing on you. They smell the favor of the Lord on you. So they like, they come sniffing around like a bloodhound, like, yeah, mm, I smell it. Let me come on up in there so I can go ahead and try to try to, you know, get all of that. No. The devil is a lie. So don't do it. Just expect this to happen because it's going to happen. So at the end of the day, prepare yourself now for when it does happen. Somebody is already experiencing this. You already got them text messages. You already done got them phone calls and you kind of skeptical. them. You like, Lord, should I like, should I entertain this person? Should I respond? Should I say anything? Because like, you know what I know. And, you know, it, that ain't going to work. It ain't worked. But and then, you know, the enemy going to try to put them little, them little drop them little thoughts and them little seeds in your mind of, well, maybe they changed. Maybe. Uh -uh. Look at the situation and circumstances in your life, the way that they're unfolding. Test the spirit. Test the spirit. And, and, and again, this don't even have to necessarily be no no love interest. Um, this can be like a family member or an old friend. Maybe God, uh, you know, caused separation between you and a family member or you and a friend. Maybe it was a childhood friend and God caused you to cut ties with that person or for however it worked out where you and this person stopped talking and, and lost contact and cut communication. And you knew that after that, 
God started giving you revelation on why and you started seeing how toxic this person was in your life, um, you know, how they were not adding to you, but they were taking from you, how many of these individuals were taking advantage of you, um, you know, and, and things like that. And now all of a sudden, like I said, the familiar spirit's going to try to come back around because you're right there on the brink of your breakthrough. You know, maybe you got that, you had that old friend that that person always liked to talk about drama or negativity or something bad about something in their life or somebody that like gossip all the time. And, you know, as divine ones, as chosen ones, we can't expose ourselves to that. We can't sit there and absorb that. You know, that is something like, don't get me wrong. If somebody needs advice or something like that, and you know, this person is really trying to help themselves, God will put you in positions to, to help certain people, to uplift certain people, to give advice to certain people. And I don't mean that type of situation. I mean that one friend that every time you pick up the phone is, oh girl, you know, and he, this, 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 this and that, and ooh girl, or ooh, ooh man, look, he did this, he did that. This is, it's always something. It don't matter. It seems like this individual is a magnet to drama or toxicity, whether it be relationships in their lives, friendships, or even just coworkers. It, they always have something to say about somebody. Mm -mm. You cannot, you must, we must guard our hearts and our, our minds and all of our gates all the time. So we have to be very careful on what we consume and what we, um, give our energy to we cannot be allowing people like that and situations like that to come and pull on our energy and drain us because like have you ever been around a person like that and you find yourself you you are great before you come into contact with them or y'all hang out or you talk or whatever the matter may be and you all you know you feeling great you you in great spirits you your energy level is through the roof you were just feeling great you're just feeling amazing. Everything is just flowing for you. You just feel real good. You know, overall, your mind is in the right place. You on positivity, motivation, you know, and everything else. And this person come with all that negative talk and they just negative talk, just down talk and down talk and negative talk. And just ne the whole time you around them and before you know it, you didn't got a headache. You're not feeling good. You feel drained. Sometimes you may even experience feeling nauseous or having really bad headaches. And just having to be like, you know what? It's time for me to go home. That's the Holy Spirit saving you. Like, you know what? No, you allowing this person to drain you. I'm going to get you up out of there. Like, you, you got to get up out of here. Them type of people, you don't need to be around. Because those type of people are energy vampires. All they're doing is there to just draw on you, draw on your energy, drain your energy. At the end of the day, because you're such a positive and uplifting person. If they do have a, a if they are down or they do have something going on in their life, it's your, it's your nature to want to, encourage them or uplift them but nine times out of ten these type of people they don't want to hear that they'll act as if they do but then you give the advice and they don't take it <laughs> somebody asks for your advice and they're like you know what should i do about this situation and many of you watching you know god has just given you a certain level of insight when it comes to things like that you know that the answer will come to you and you know you want to encourage and uplift and help people and then it's just like they talk in a hole in a loop it just go right back around like on repeat and you, once you get that advice they just say this all the same stuff all over again and you can tell that it's evident they're not they're not taking any of the advice it's just going right over their head they're not absorbing any of it they can care less really they just want to talk and to drain your energy keep those type of people away from you them, those type of people are going to try to spin the block because God is blessing you in this season. So be aware and, and uh, be vigilant and be wary of these type of things and keep these individuals far away from you. Continue to focus on God because at the end of the day, all you need is Jesus. And know and rest assured that if it was nobody left on this earth and it was just you and Jesus alone, you would be just fine. You would have everything that you, you could ever want, need or, or imagine. So I just pray this quick message blesses someone and encourages someone. I love you all. God loves you all. God bless you all. Talk to you soon.